I am pumped to share a brand new suite of features from TubeBuddy that are going to help you get views faster than ever before. These new features are called Click Magnet and they are going to help you identify ways to get more people to click on your videos and get more views to grow your channel. In fact, I can't wait any longer. Let's jump on the computer and show you what it's all about. The features I'm about to show you are part of TubeBuddy's Legend Package, their top tier service. But before you click away, stick around to the end of this video because I'm going to show you how you can get 60 days of Legend for free so you can take it for a spin. All right, so here's what I recommend. Be sure to watch this video through to the end and click the like button. That's going to add this video to your liked videos playlist. And then follow the link in the description to get access to the legend tier. And then you can come back to this video if you have any questions how to navigate through TubeBuddy's new click magnet. All right, so once you have legends set up, you're going to have this option here on your videos list, bulk and miscellaneous tools. If you click there in the lower right hand corner, you're going to see basically to previews click magnet go ahead and click click magnet expand your audience and drive more meaningful views by turning your videos into click magnets and that is obviously what we are looking to do we're going to click the get started button it's going to go through and process some data for us and then give us access to a whole bunch of goodies that are going to help us make decisions that'll get us more views here on youtube all right, so you see once it's loaded, there are four sections here in Click Magnet. We have power rankings. If you want people to watch more of your videos, create content they crave. So that is going to show us which of our videos are performing the best. We have Element Inspector, which is an opportunity to discover which elements of your videos packaging are actually driving clicks. Really cool feature. We're going to dive into that. We have click-through rate opportunities. This is going to show us videos that are otherwise performing well, but don't have uh, the best click-through rate among our videos. And that's going to show us opportunities to actually drive more views to those successful videos by finding ways to up our click-through rate. And then advanced analytics, it's an opportunity to view and export uh, some of your metrics and video data in ways that YouTube itself is not going to provide. So the first thing we're going to do is click on power rankings. You're going to get to take a look at my power rankings on my channel and see what's working the best. You can see that it lists the videos in ranking order. There's some information on the left hand side that shows us about our percentiles and which of these videos are performing relative to the rest of the videos on our channel. You'll notice that the very first video up here, it has, it has performed in the 90th percentile in both clicks and watch time, and it is in the 80th percentile with click-through rate at 5.65. Okay, still coming through with a very successful, this is actually a very positive and popular video here on my channel for a number of reasons, but it does imply that perhaps we could do a little bit better with that click-through rate. And Based on some of the features that I saw in this tool prior to it being released, this is actually a new thumbnail that I'm waiting for it to process and, and uh, get some more traffic to see if I can in fact move that click-through rate in a positive direction. I can't wait to show you uh, the tools I use to make that assessment because they are pretty, pretty awesome. All right, and as you can see, this one's doing well on all fronts. We've got a lot of watch time, click, and 11, nearly 12% click-through rate. So that one's certainly performing well. But it shows you it ranks all your videos. Uh, once you have had your fill of your top-ranked videos, you have the back button in the lower left-hand corner. We can jump back, and we can go to Element Inspector. Now, this is something that I used to make some decisions about uh, how to tweak my thumbnails. And I really like the way that this breaks down the information. You can see that we have face versus no face. So among my thumbnails that have uh, faces and those that don't have faces, it tells me that the click-through rate on those with faces is 6.1, while those with no faces are driving 4.41. This certainly tells me that faces are the way to go, at least for my channel and my audience. Then we have emotions, happy, big smiling face, 6.55 click-through rate, while some of the other emotions, surprise and calm, uh, and I think we can even scroll over here, angry, confused, I don't really have any checking in there, and then mixed, uh, really low on the old totem Poll, that one I actually had two different uh, pictures of my face on there. But this also tells me 
We know that, hey, we want to have a face based on this. We know emotions. Hey, we want to have a nice, happy face. And then sizes, it tells us based on how we have positioned or framed our face, what that means to us in terms of successful click-through rates. And you'll see here, long shot, a really distant shot with some smaller faces like down in the corner here. You can see that uh, they're performing not as well as the other ones. And it's great when you hover over each of these, it's actually showing you some of the examples it used to come up with these numbers. But you'll also see that medium comes in second at a 5.3. And then the close up of my pretty mug. Uh, I don't know why people seem to be responding to a close up of me, uh, you know, but uh, that is what the data is telling us. 7.63 click through rate. So if I look at all this information uh, and then we combine it, there's text versus no text. I don't do a lot of video uh, thumbnails without texts but there are a couple and it's telling me that those that have text, which are a large majority of my videos is nearly 6% while only 2% with the no text. So I haven't been successful painting a picture without some words. Uh, and then the most popular words in my titles and what's driving the most. Apparently I need to do a video about uploading on iPhone because that seems to be where there's a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of positive response there with the 10% click-through rates. But what I did using this information is say, okay, for those click-through rates that aren't performing well, I want to make a new thumbnail with a face. I want that face to be happy. And then I want the size to be a nice close-up of me. And that's what I did to test on some of those thumbnails. I took the most popular one that didn't have the peak uh, thumbnail and we'll jump back to that just so I can show you. So this thumbnail, what I actually did is I changed this. I updated this and actually zoomed in on my face even more uh, to get it more in line and see if I could push a higher click through rate. We're able to use these tools together to paint a picture of what our audience is responding to the most. And that is super powerful. We're always trying to understand what our audience wants. And sometimes it's not as clear as it could be using these tools from TubeBuddy's new click magnet. It paints a much clearer picture of what we need to do to make those tweaks that can really help our channel take off. All right, so CTR Opportunities gives us the ability to identify videos that have performed well, but maybe have some room to grow when it comes to click-through rate. If we can raise that click-through rate, we have the potential to exponentially raise the views as well. So in this view, I want you to take a look at that top video. That's actually a video that was performing well with a different thumbnail. I have since changed the thumbnail, and I wanna show you how you can use Click Magnet in combination with other tools that TubeBuddy's led package gives you access to. So let's take a look at this. This top video, how to add a subscriber to your video. It performed really well and we're going to take a look. We'll pop over real quick just so you can see this video. I'll show you exactly how it has performed. Uh, you can see we'll do... Uh, it's actually performed very strong and it continues to get even better. And one of the things that we're doing is trying to improve this click through rate. So what you can't see is that I recently changed uh, this thumbnail to this closer version. And the way we can make that determination is say, OK, well, we know from click magnet by looking at the element inspector that, you know, faces and happy faces and close up faces are all going to give us that magical formula for getting a higher click through rate. So we can then take that and use one of TubeBuddy's other legend level features, which is A-B testing. And if you go into TubeBuddy and you click on A-B testing, you can actually come in here and make an alternative thumbnail, which is what I did in this case. This video was performing well with this top thumbnail and I made this bottom thumbnail trying to use some of those elements from Click Magnet to up my game and try to get a better result. So I allowed this to run. It let me know that we were 82% sure that the variation will perform better than the original. And it shows you some information. Uh, in full disclosure, I did the, a very short test run on this. Typically, you'd allow this to run until the difference was statistically significant. Uh, but for the purpose of this, I wanted to run this as a short period of time and and just see that there was an improvement, which we definitely saw in the four days that I ran this. You would run this for uh, longer than that and get more significant data. But uh, using that information from Click Magnet, it kind of pointed me in the direction of what to actually change here. So it really makes the legend package super powerful. And remember, I mentioned 
I'm going to show you how you can get 60 days of the legend for free to take all this for a test drive. And I highly recommend you take advantage of it because that is just a massive deal. The great people over at TubeBuddy are giving us the opportunity to share that with you so you can see these features in person and see what they can do for your channel. So we want to jump back into click magnet and we're going to jump in there and head back and we want to look at this last section which is advanced analytics you can see here we have the opportunity to look at a variety of different data you can see very quickly we can look at our videos ranked by click-through rate we have power rankings here we have watch time per impression versus total watch time here average view duration views just a number of different ways and then we can also look at these split in a variety of different ways now you see here by the different time frames, you can actually look at videos and this is a really powerful opportunity as well. You know, when you're first watching a video perform and it's showing you hourly results and we'll grab a video here to look at uh, hourly results, you really aren't going to be able to see it. This one just uh, died on the vine, but typically it's showing you in that first 24 hour period how something performs and it's difficult to go back and then compare videos with that information. So in this case, we have a time frame option to look at the videos first 24 hours and we can see which videos uh, actually performed the best in terms of that 24 hour period. So that is certainly helpful to be able to see them side by side to see what type of thumbnails and titles people jumped on. What is your audience responding to out of the gate? Cause this 24 hours is typically going to be your notifications and browse and you're gonna get a lot of traffic from your subscribers and your audience. So it's really good to be able to look back and compare your videos and say, okay, what were the headlines? What were the thumbnails that really got people's attention that can help you make decisions about how to make future thumbnails as well. And you have the breakdown. You can look at the first day, first two days, for seven days, first 30 days. And then you can also look at videos that got a certain amount of traffic. So in this case, we can look at the 48 hour time frame in the first two days and a minimum of 10,000 impression. These are the videos that really popped right out of the gate on my channel. It can give us an idea of what people responded to and what really captured their attention. It also allows us to sort the videos and look at the data with respect to the time frame and the minimum impressions. When you have data that you're interested in exploring even more you have the option to export to csv here that's going to download it to your computer and then you can go in and slice and dice that any way you want so all in all a ton of great features here in click magnet now remember i promised that i was going to tell you how to get 60 days of two buddy legend for free i'm going to put a link in the description below so be sure to go down click that link get signed up for your 60 days of two buddy legend and don't forget to like this video so you have it saved and you can come back to it for reference as you're exploring click magnet i'm super pumped about this feature i'd really love to hear what you guys think definitely let me know in the comments below i think this is going to be a game changer for a lot of channels because it really bubbles what's most important to the surface and shows you exactly what you need to adjust to get more views here on youtube and hey, don't let the learning stop here. If you saw that most popular video, it was how to add a subscribe button to your YouTube videos. Give people every opportunity to click subscribe when they are enjoying your content. I'll put a link to that video on screen right now. And hey, that round button below me, that's a subscribe button for Creator Fundamentals. Be sure to click that and the bell notification icon so you're alerted to future videos. See you in the next one.